I want to quickly touch upon this is the courtesy of Supreme Drops. We have maybe my favorite Supreme Drop, I think, so far of the collection, because I think this is featuring all the stuff that I'm actually interested in and that I really want to purchase. So this is courtesy of Supreme Drops, the fantastic account that I mainly follow on Twitter because that's mainly the app that I'm on all the time. Um, and the flipping handle is uh, Drops drops with the s dot gg so definitely go check that out if you haven't already and it says supreme week five partial drop list and retail estimations this week's features the gremlins i write collaborations um more lookbook items including the shadow plate flannel zip up free unseen t-shirts will also be releasing greta free kings guns portrait stay tuned for updates now obviously i mentioned it previous times already but the kids nowadays don't know how good they have it with accounts like this back in the day when i used to buy supreme especially in the beginning or when i used to buy supreme uh, religiously um we'd get most of our updates about stock from places like super future i don't know if you remember that forum not really fifth dimension because you know the guys on there were cunts and they were probably gatekeepers and stuff particularly one per guy particularly one guy like a turbo turbo cunt um you know if you was to cross the street and get run over by a truck i wouldn't i wouldn't drop a tear but that one dude you know that kind of permeate that kind of you know gatekeeper type mentality but for the rest of them i think it was super future was i think of i think that might have been it in terms of info actual info i can't figure the other one like in terms of all oh, um i've heard this is coming that is coming and there'll usually be people connected with the store so it's the same people that probably feed people these kind of news are the ones that were kind of leaking the information about certain things dropping and um maybe it's different because i think some of these guys do back end stuff and are able to you know go i think before they were able to go in the back end and see stuff that's going to be pending to go through um the store i don't know whatever it may be so um now the kids have it nice because they know exactly what's coming up and they say save up before i wouldn't know so it'll be dropping on a thursday and you'd only find out because the kids in america will be purchasing it and it'll be posting you uploading onto ebay and then you'll find out that way kind of thing so you kind of had to you know then save up your money and try and get a proxy or whatever maybe to ship it over for you blah, 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 and long but at least these guys got discounts but anyway going back to what i want to purchase the things that I'm really looking forward to in this collection that I really, really want, number one is 100% the IRAC collaboration. Now, the face mask and the hoodie and the pants is pretty decent, but let's be honest, I'm probably not going to wear a hoodie like that anytime soon with the IRAC logo and then um, all over the hoodie and then it's stamped with the Supreme logo too. They've done this type of thing before anyway, IRAC clothing. I remember still having this IRAC hoodie. I can't believe I flipping sold it, honestly. I bought it from eBay to begin with ages ago and I resold it again on eBay. Like not even for that much. It was just, uh, I can't believe I did it. It was like a gray hoodie. Um, maybe like a, what would you call it? Um, is it asphalt? What the kind of gray is that? It was like a charcoal type gray. And then in the middle, it's like a pullover hoodie, oversized. And then in the middle, it had the massive IRAC letters, I-R-A-K. And then um, I guess the border was 3M. So obviously glow in the dark, but the gnarly bit about it was that there's a logo in the front with IRAC, massive on the chest like that. And then there was a logo on the back of the hoodie that with the words um, reversed, that also said IRAC with a 3M. Like greasy, like one of the best hoodies you'll see. And I guess it was really done for most part, if I remember correctly, they didn't even sew a proper label on it. It was like proper DIY streetwear level, level shit. The fucking screen print was heavy as hell on the front of it. I hardly washed it in normal washes. We took it to the dry cleaners like, and I just, oh, I don't know. I regret selling that so, so much, man. But anyway, so that logo, so that kind of stuff I've seen before, the kind of all over print, the pants as well go hard. The face marks obviously makes a lot of sense too with Iraq. And if you know the origins of the name, that you'd know that that makes a lot of sense also but the gloves are what i'm really interested in right and we're gonna actually go here into the preview to go see the gloves that i've done with a collaboration with the brand mechanic and i've actually got a plain pair of mechanic gloves that i wear now for my bike that i use all the time as you guys can see there on the camera you see those right those are the plain mechanics that i usually wear when i'm cycling and whatnot on my little fixie right? as you can see and pop those little fingers out See that here? Boom, boom, boom. Makes a lot of sense. So clearly someone like myself that rides a lot, right? That goes out and rides. One of the riders will be definitely into these flipping Iraq gloves. They look absolutely smoking. 
really look good supreme mechanic iraq work gloves like these look so 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 good i like the look of these completely and i'm considering hopefully buying two pairs for myself because i know what i'm like i'm gonna end up wearing these every day and i'm gonna regret i didn't get two pairs so it's probably gonna be two pairs of those for sure um, if the face mask was a bit cheap, I'd probably get two pairs of that and the face mask. But, you know, $68 for a face mask, I'm not really that deep on. And also, with my hair being the way it is, I'm not really going to be getting braided all the time. It's a bit of a waste of money. I'm not going to wear that too often enough to make it make sense. But I'm sure by the time the winter comes around, I'm going to be regretting not having this. But it is what it is. And then the other thing that I'm definitely going to be purchasing is the five panel hat. Um, so this is the hat there they got at the bottom there. That's definitely going to be something I'm going to try and cop as well, which looks brilliant also. Um, let me see if I can get up on here on the preview I'm loading. Bada bing, bada boom. Where is it? Supreme hat with the thing. It's only black and white. There we go. This one here. So as you can see, this one, it's got Supreme written. It's got Supreme and it's kind of exploding font with the with the Iraq hand, um, hand style. I'm not too sure if this is um I, if it, this ear snots um, thing or if this is somebody else from the Iraq crew that with this uh, hand style with the Iraq on top here written in silver um, ink which looks really really good so I'm definitely gonna get that so the Iraq mesh back uh, five panel so that's gonna be pretty dope as the kids say and then on the other bit of the Clive lab that I'm really interested in is this gremlins football shirt because I had to actually recently throw away a football shirt that I had that unfortunately was the same sort of color scheme in terms of the black, the whites and the greens. But unfortunately, I think if I'm not mistaken, this upper body was, was white. So after time, when I kept wearing it, washing it, wearing it, washing it, it just, and I was sweating in it. Sometimes the stains didn't come out and it just overall turned into like, an, maybe I washed it with, di with different things. I don't know. But anyway, it just got a little bit gunky looking and it got all like off whitish looking like porcelain and it just looked weird i mean so i had to basically throw it away because after one i think one day i was actually gonna go out to a rave wearing it and i put it on my bed and i went to the shower came back in the room i was like oh that looks dirty i mean like, i didn't i don't think i'd seen it properly in the light so when the kind of light hit it when i was on the bed i was like jesus christos so i had to kind of take it you know uh put it out of his patch put it out um put it out to pasture as i say so i'm thinking of getting that gremlins uh jersey Football, ice hockey. I think it's the hockey jersey, right? I'm pretty sure. Again, I'm not too familiar with US sports, so please don't kill me in the comments. But I'm pretty sure it's a hockey jersey. Um, but I'm definitely thinking of getting that also. Where that? I think I missed it, right? It was, I think it's a collab with Gremlins. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, is it, not, is it not on here? It must be on here. I'm pretty sure. Sorry. Oh, there it is. Yeah, here. My bad. So it's here. A uh, gremlin hockey jersey. Uh, it's not, it's not, it doesn't say collaboration, but it just says gremlin. Uh, poly eyelet mesh with a with tackle twill logo, applique and embroidered patch. I love. I've said it before, isn't it? I'm. I'm. Maybe I'm in the minority here, but I absolutely love the the autism levels of their flipping product descriptions when it comes to Supreme. Right, the amount of detail they go into, like you know, slit pockets with chest enclosure, like, with zip enclosures, like God damn, man. Do you know what I mean? Chest pockets will do, my guy, but I like this. Do you know what I mean? This kind of gets me hard. I'm not going to lie. I love to see with this kind of detail. So, yeah, I'm a fan of this um, jersey. Might get that also, but I think, my, like I said, my main points of interest um, coming up this week for Supreme are definitely going to be those Iraq gloves and this and, and this uh, five-panel hat. So maybe I can get two pairs and a hat. I'll be pretty much okay with. I cannot wait and the rest of it. You know, not really that too fussed about. But, again, follow... Um, these accounts you know supreme drops and uh, they have they have all the good info people are hyped about the plaid flannel which is that one there it looks like in the comments it says this this kind of shadow flannel thing people are really getting excited about that so i think that would end up being one of the most um sold through sold out items on the entire thing going forward um but yeah let's wait and see this thursday coming up we're going to be able to see if I'm able to be lucky and cop some of that stuff and cop some of that 